Hello, this is Chris Bailey with Battle Beaver Customs. I'm wanting to do a quick video showing you how to install thumbsticks to your brand new DualSense 5 controller. So here we have our Battle Beaver case. Um, this is actually for the PS4 controller, but it fits the new DualSense 5 controller perfectly. So get this bad boy out of here. Let's see, have room to put our custom cable in there. So here I have the controller. Wanted to show a proper way how to tear it down and put in some thumbsticks. Today we're just going to show we have a pair of our domed style thumbsticks and a pair of what we call Z-sticks. Z-sticks have a slight concave in the middle but still have a lip on the outside. Um, think of it like a softer, more textured version like an Xbox One stick but at the same height as a PS4 stick. So the first thing you want to do is if you Look in the controller, you'll see right around here is this black kind of trim piece. The best way to get this off, this just clips into place. So we're gonna go from the bottom. I like to start here in this bottom corner. So if you do wind up bending it, you're not adding any bend marks like in a spot that you'd be able to see them. So we're using just a pair of curved tweezers. You can use pretty much anything that'll get in here. So let's get right up under this lip. And just pull up, um, do that on both sides. All right, and that pop out. I have this trim piece and put it off to the side for now. So we have the main part of the controller. The other thing you want to do is these hidden two screws are right here under your L1 and R1 buttons. You can get to these by getting some kind of a pry and getting up under them. Uh, so we're gonna do just that. We're just gonna come in, we're actually gonna go between the L1 and the L2 and just pull up till it kind of pops and they just slide straight out. All right. You'll flip the controller over. You'll see your first two screws are right here in the bottom corners. We'll just get those two Phillips screws out of the way. We do sell a Battle Beaver Phillips screwdriver that will fit the heads of these screws perfectly. And you can add them to your order with your new thumbsticks when they're on our website. All right, and then these other two here in the front. Once you have these four screws out, you will see two clips right here around your accessory port. And this is actually a microphone. Um, you can watch our other video on a more in-depth teardown to see some of the new features that are in this controller. And you can just take something that's going to pry under these. A little bit of force. I'll let those lift up. Out to the other side. Slight pressure this way. And then you'll notice the controller starts to rotate. So just rotate this forward and then pop it off. And that's how you get the rear shell off of your controller. So the next thing we're going to do is when you get the battery out of the way. And there's going to be a few different ways that we can approach this. Since we're just doing thumbsticks, we're going to pull the battery. Try to pull as close to the clip as possible. You don't want to pull the wires out of this connector. And can remove this screw right here under your battery tray. And you'll notice when you go to pull up on the battery tray, down here at the bottom, you have your microphone connection plugged into the board so very carefully you can lift it up pull the microphone out all right so here we have kind of what we consider the mid plate and the face plate um, and we're going off of like our ps4 term so you see these two screws out here in these outside edges right above your rumble motors Take those out. Just a little bit of 
wiggle room. And next thing we're going to do We'll just remove these two ribbon cables that attach the triggers on the side. And if you notice, you have another, I think, microphone that's plugged in right here. Lightly get that out. And you can actually just mm -hmm. pop this board up and backwards. Mm -hmm. And you know, at the top, this ribbon Quite a few ribbon cables like we're taking for a smartphone. Um, this is for your touchpad. Get that out of there. And this will allow your board to come free. So the easiest way to do this, we're just doing thumbsticks. This will allow your board to kind of roam free, only being held on by your rumble wires. Um, if you wanted to go further and take this mid plate out, so we did take those screws off, You'd then have to take out these two screws here in the corners. So you'll notice that these are the only two silver screws in the controller. Um, so when you're going to put it back together, just remember the two silver screws go into the white bar and that would allow you to take this whole mid plate out of the controller. So. You could do it either way. You can leave this mid plate in the controller. We're just swapping the thumbsticks, but we figured we'd show that extra step. So we'll put this back in. And we will go ahead and put those two silver screws back in their proper position. The reason we point out the silver screws is that they are just slightly longer than all these black screws. Um, so if you were to put them in a position, like let's say, out here and the hole that they're going in isn't deep enough you could actually wind up leaving marks on the outside of your controller so to remove the thumbsticks this is going to be pretty much like any controller has been for the last few generations they're just going to slide on and off um, the only controller that we've seen that's been different than that would be the elite 2 controller where they actually thread on and they're held on with like a loctite so these are on you'll probably recognize these thumbstick mechanisms um, we actually saw replacements of them. The only difference on the DualSense 5s are turned 90 degrees. So it's the same one, just sideways. So we'll start with our dome sticks and just line up the holes. And you want to make sure you put your hand kind of under the controller. You're going to apply force onto it, make sure it sits just right. Same with the other side. All right, so, and to get this back in, you'd make sure your ribbons are back, kind of out of the way. Gonna flip this one back. And just wiggle face plate. And you can push on the back of the board this is going to be more specific for dome sticks because the head of them is so high. Um, make sure your clearance is in. I got the sticks in there. Uh, so that's what they look like. What you want to look for before you start putting the controller back together is you can put some pressure on the bottom and rotate your thumb sticks and just make sure they're not rubbing. You don't hear like scratching sounds. Um, if they are, you may need to push down harder on the thumb sticks, but and now is a good time to check before you get too much further into the insulation. So that's how you'd get them on there. If you had another problem, you would just push on your thumbsticks. And then you could push the board back out gently. Pop these out. And then we're going to go in and we're going to add what we call on our website Z-sticks. Do the same process. The head on the Z-stick is a little bit smaller, so you won't have to slide it in as snugly. Make sure when you're doing this, so you see this rumble wire got under the board. 
It is a very popular mod at Battle Beaver for performance controllers to remove rumbles. Um, a lot of first person shooters, guys just don't like to have the rumbles in there. So they'd take them out and now is a great time. You can just cut those two wire leads right there. You can pop these rumble motors out, which we'll show in a different video. Um, but yeah, they're just right there, two wires. So now once you have this in, we want to start getting all the ribbon cables back together. Make sure we don't miss any of these. So we'll start with the large one, which are touchpad ribbon. When you're messing with the ribbons, always try to use the plastic bit that's held on extra to the cable. Uh, I'll do this microphone here, make sure it's still in place. Get in and get your two trigger ribbons installed. Make sure they go in straight. Put your battery tray, you can hold straight down your thumb, get that screw in place. I'd like to go ahead and put the battery back in. see a clip that it kind of tucks under right there for the wires and then get two outside screws for the mid plate under the shorter black screws and take this other microphone that we removed earlier might be easier to install before you get the battery tray in either way and it looks like the end of this just tucks right here. Just tuck that in, make sure it pushes down. And your rear shell, so you remember it kind of twisted on. So we'll start here kind of towards the top. Wiggle it in place, twist it down. And you'll feel it snap together. Those two clips right here, you can push in, get those two clips to snap. And then you'll just go back with your final four screws. Draw your clips are snapped together. Then with this trim piece, it goes down into those little holes. Push down in the middle, come down around the edges. Then you'll reinsert your bumpers. If you look, they can only go in one direction. And there you have it. You have upgraded thumbsticks inside your DualSense 5 mm -hmm. controller. This will give you a little bit better control, a little bit more contact surface for your thumbs, um, and you can match your preference. We will be uploading different styles and heights and types of thumbsticks to our website um, as this controller launches and is out in the wild. So you know, keep an eye on there, battlebeavercustoms.com, and also we have all the tools you need and a great support staff that's here to answer any questions along the way. Thank you for watching.